Okay, I couldn't help but say something about the big news that UFC 196 is going to feature Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz now. And this is 10 days out from the fight. I mean, that to me, that alone says a lot for, uh, for Nate that he would take a fight this huge 10 days out. But yeah, I'm all excited now. <laughs> I can't help but be. I'm a, I'm a Diaz fan. I'm a fan of the Diaz brothers for sure. Um, in fact, Nick Diaz was really one of the first of the um, UFC fighters who I kind of studied, you know, all of his fights and um, tried to make some predictions about him. And, uh, and I got to really enjoy him. I, I, I really did. You know, he's such a brawler and his brother, you know, Nate here has really, you know, followed in his footsteps and is, you know, he's not like a carbon copy or anything, but he's his own guy. But uh, at the same time, you know, they share a lot of qualities, right? And they're brothers and uh, they're very close. And their fighting style is very similar. And they're, they're tough as nails. You know, Conor McGregor, I think, is... He's in for a real fight here. He's not in for one of these one-punch knockouts like his last... Like his last fight, you know. Jose Aldo just went... Bump! Right down, like nothing. That's not going to happen to Nate Diaz. These Diaz guys... Um, they're solid. It takes a, it takes a lot to really rock, <laughs> uh, Nick or Nate, you know, to get them off of their feet. Connor's expecting a first round knockout. I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> I'd be surprised if there's a knockout at all. Um... Because these guys, I don't know, they got like, they got tough jaws, you know, they're like hard headed. It's, they can take a lot of, a lot of punishment. Um, either of the Diaz boys. So I think, um, I think Connor's in for a fight. You know, I watched the, um, the little press conference that they did yesterday or the day before and you know Connor's right in terms of um, just what would you call it finesse of movement or um, you know overall overall skill in technique and movement. You know, he does have it. He has it over Nate. But on the other hand, Nate is a fighter, right? I mean, he's, he's, he's just a fighter. And sometimes, you know, sometimes the fighter can beat out the guy with the finesse. Um, I'm not predicting, I'm not saying that Nate is going to win this fight. What, I've, what I suspect is going to happen is that the two of them are going to go the distance. It's going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of injury. Uh, but they're going to go the distance, and in the end, I think Connor's going to be awarded the win um, based on points, 
and such. But I think he's, you know, I think he's going to pay for this win physically. I think uh, Nate is going to, you know, it's going to be hard on him. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Connor really does have like excellent movement. He's so fast. Um, but there's things to consider. Like, this is a welterweight bout. He's moving up in weight to do this. Any way around it, Nate is still going to be bigger than him. You know, when the two of them stood up here, especially when they were standing straight, you could see Nate's a big guy compared to Connor. Um, so Connor's weight gain alone could kind of slow him a bit. We'll see. We'll see. Um, see how much the slowing even matters. You know, I've, Nate, Nate is going to be brawling. He's going to be, he's going to be boxing. And, you know, if it goes to the ground, he's got that, he's got that down too. But on his feet, he's going to be trading punches. And he's got a very solid um, jaw, you know. The likelihood that, I mean, Connor's got knockout power, don't get me wrong. When it, with, with his punches, he's got wicked knockout power. But can he knock out a Diaz? I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, he has been training to fight, and Nate did take this with only 10 days, you know, between the offer and the fight. So there's that to consider. And I know, you know, nobody in that camp wants to um, use that as an excuse or anything, but it's just a, it's just a reality. You know, he wasn't expecting to fight and now he's suddenly going to have to fight. I mean, um, physically, is it going to make a really big difference? I, I don't, not for, maybe not for Nate Diaz. Somebody else's camp, it might make a huge difference physically. But I don't think for Nate Diaz physically, but mentally, that's, I think that's pretty tough, you know, throwing yourself into a fight, uh, such a huge fight too. I mean, this is huge with 10 days out. Um, yeah, it's just my thought on the matter is that this puts it, this puts Nate at a considerable disadvantage just psychologically. Um, which may be why they give him his chance now, because Connor's the, you know, he's the star boy. He's bringing in the money now. They don't want Connor to lose, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, if if uh, some if Nate's able to pull something off, it won't be the first time that Diaz's brother has like upset the whole UFC. I mean, think about Robbie Lawler. <laughs> you know, who expected Nick to knock him out? Anyway, I couldn't help but say something about it. Now I'm excited for UFC 196, for sure. Um, I may or may not purchase it, but one way or another, I'm definitely going to watch this fight. <laughs> and... Uh, really looking forward to it whereas before I, I really didn't care um now i want to see i want to see what happens i want to see if i'm right i want to see if it goes the distance i want to see if Co connor wins on technical points while he's while he's all battered from a from a brawl with, with nate here
We'll see.